Every time this crosses over, uh, there, there's, I need to, I need to make a separate video that explains the technicalities behind this and the semantics and then, okay. Uh, anytime you see a massive dark pool position below this line, which means that there's been a bunch of selling here, um, Squeeze Metrics has an excellent paper that explains whenever you see a short position within dark pools, that it ultimately translates to buying. Uh, this, that paper uh, provides an excellent explanation to this. But look at, so anytime you're below this line, that means that there's a short position being held. Anytime it's above it, means that they're now going long. Um, the, the, okay, I, I definitely need to do a separate video explaining this. But basically, whenever there's this big transition, to me, from what I understand, it typically means that the blocks of shares that were accumulated that made this line go down um, are exacerbated. And that now whoever has this giant inventory of shares needs to re-up. Um, the last time this happened was... Uh, so whoever is, is playing this game the way they are needs to re-up on their shares. So to speak, um, when I zoom out, you can see even back in January when this happened. And then going into March, you had that big surge in March. Um, I, this has been a topic for ever since I've been live, ever since I've been on Twitter. Uh, this has been a very important checklist item. Everything else seems to be at play here. Uh, you see that the run-up looks... Oh, Jesus Christ. You can see how the run-up uh, that we had back in, in May and June looks like where we're at now. I understand if you're not about dates and price targets and this, that, and whatever. Okay, but as I've said again, since I was at one viewer, 10 viewers, 50 viewers, 1,000 followers, 2,000, 5,000, I don't give a shit. Look... I can be wrong. I've been wrong plenty of times. I can be right. I've been right a handful of times. It doesn't matter, okay? You have to be 18 or older to be in the stock market, okay, buddy? You got to have the emotional capacity of one at least. Not that 18-year-old people are anywhere near of emotional capacity of that of an adult, but listen, it's okay to be excited. It's okay to get hyped. It's okay to have a little bit of optimism going into the future, all right? If I'm wrong, fuck me. I'll be the enemy of the state for Reddit and everyone else to come. I don't give a shit, okay? But I'm here to say that you can only be as happy for as much as you're able to be sad. That is just an inherent part of life. So it's okay. It's okay to get happy. It's okay to be excited. It's okay to experience joy. Don't fucking let some 18 year 18, might as well be. Some 22 year old, long haired, tattooed fucking douchebag prick who listens to Guns N' Roses more than he does to fucking Bible scripture. Okay? Don't, if, if your financial decisions are derived from that of what I have to say, you are a fucking idiot. I just see shit. I make observations. I make predictions. That's just how it goes. I'm not here to tell you what to do. This isn't financial advice. Never has been. Isn't and never fucking will be. But let me tell you right now, I've had some pretty okay observations thus far. And if 